How's it going guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to fix the plugged in not charging problem. As you can see I don't have the problem anymore, as it says 97% uh, available plugged in and charging. Um, this has been a real frustrating problem for me the last, uh, it actually took me a week uh, um, to fix this. Um, I have to mention that I have a laptop where you can't remove the battery so if you have a laptop where you can't remove the battery and um, this will work quite well for you so what I did was um, you've probably seen this in a lot of tutorials online but is actually I have I, I did the same thing but there is something else I did afterwards to um, ensure that the, the that I don't get the problem again and guess what I did so you go to your device manager uh, go to the batteries tab um, and install uninstall the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery by right clicking and uninstalling. I'm not going to do this because I am I already resolved the problem. Um, after uninstalling this one, go to AC adapter, uninstall, and then what you want to do is uh, plug out your AC adapter from your notebook as well as from uh, your wall socket. Um, this just ensures that your, your charger loses all of its power and that your laptop actually powers down without having any, any current left. Um, after you've done this, leave, leave your notebook off and the AC adapter plugged out for about five minutes. Um, that, that's, quite, uh, that's the time I went with. And then once you power the PC up, this is the, the next step that a, a lot of tutorials don't mention. And this is actually going to help from for uh, like, like, like keeping it from happening again. So what I did is I actually found this link. Um, I'll put the link in the description uh, where you can download a, a services file that, in, um, that blocks the driver from, from failing again. So what you want to do is when you're on the page, come down to here. Um, just make sure you're downloading the correct file. It's the Microsoft ACPI control method battery driver. Uh, select your operating system. I'm on Windows 8.1 on Pro and download the file, which I have here. And it doesn't really matter where the file is. Um, you can either leave it in your downloads folder or to, and you can move it to any folder you'd like. Um, and before you do anything else, um, on the website, they, they, they tell you, note, make sure that the cmbat.sys file exists in the following directory. So what you want to do is copy this, go to start, run, paste that, just click OK. And then you'll see you'll, you, you'll, you'll be directed to the system32 drivers folder. And what you want to do is go to search and just search cm. And as you can see, I have the cmbat.sys file, so I had no problems. If you don't have this file, um, just go in and, uh, and, and you know, uh, search for the file, download it, put it in the right directory. Um, but um, I don't have this problem. I have the file. So now that you know you have the file, go back to your downloaded file. And what you want to do is right click on it and run as administrator. And you'll notice that your CMD pops up. When the CMD closes again, um, that's it. Restart your computer and hopefully this fixed your problem. Thanks for watching.